Good day. New project. Small project. I'm sure some of you guys have seen these before. Hell, they're in a lot of equipment out there. Sure grip. Sure is a grip. Um, what became of this particular one? I'll give you a close up. Is I cut it off already. Right here, where this comes out of the handle, she was cracked. And here is the broken wire, and it's the common wire in here. Hence all the red ones. So this one was cracked down at the joint down here, and he was having intermittent trouble with, um, I think this is the knife function. They're all closed. It's on a Fabtech 133. And, uh, and what I've discovered today is the first time I've ever been in one of these sure grips. Is all they are is these $2, $3 micro switches. I don't know if you can hear that or not. There's an overlay on there. Same with the trigger mechanism. And so the brake was right here where the where the arm is doing the most work. So you're holding on to the the joystick and the wire was brittle right here. So what I already did, I went ahead because this is all extra. They always provide plenty to get back to the computer. And so I stripped back about well, you can see where it was broke right here. So I stripped back at least, well, I'm going to say that's a good 8, 10 inches. And I'm just going to desolder all of these little wires and resolder them and give them all new, fresh, flexible wire at this point so we don't have to spend $1,400. Well, maybe it'll be, uh, by the time I get done, there might be $100 in labor, I suppose whatever it beats 1400 and this particular customer has some time so it's not that critical i know some people will go out we'll just go buy a new one because we got to work well this machine and we've had four days of rain and, and so we're just gonna i'm gonna do this solder it up make it all new again so we don't have that problem we don't have to buy one from cat for 1400 and we'll be good to go and uh he'll be good to go so I'll bring you back when I'm all done and show you my work. I'd sit there and bore you to death if you watched me doing all this little work, but that's basically what I got. A bunch of wires. I got everything pre-trimmed. I laid everything out so I know where everything is going to go and what lengths. They're actually not different by too much. And I've also done this. Always draw a map that's what you need to do always draw a schematic for yourself so you don't forget all right well there you have it all new wires on there what a grumpy son of a gun getting these all oh, these to put back in here without stretching and pulling too much so I'm just working on getting the two halves together And there it is. Now I just got to get myself a piece of tape so that all he's got to do tomorrow is insert the handle in here and hopefully get his bolts lined up and we're back to at least a flexible cord for now. So there you are. All done. Okay, you don't need to look at my belly, do you? Sounds good. Hopefully everything works out for him. But initially we thought it was this trigger here, the micro switch. And of course I didn't go out and look at it, he did. And we got right down to it when he saw that, when he took it apart, there's a, yeah, it just works there way too much. That's. I don't know how to cure that without strain relief or something. But that's it. 
everything should work hunky dory. So, all right. See you, bye.